Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to check a string is palindrome or not using the string builder. So in last tutorial, we saw same program but using the for loop. So I'm going to use different approach to solve this one. So what is palindrome? Suppose you have input like A, B, C, right? And if you reverse this value, what will be happen? C, B, A. So if I ask this or this both are equal, you will say no, both are not equal actually. But if I give like red R, R, A, D, A, R. And if you reverse this one, that means R, A, next T, next A, next R. We see here input and output both are actually identical. This is called palindrome. If both input and output is same, that means whatever input user is giving and after reverse, whatever you are getting the output, both are same, that is called palindrome. So here we are going to use a string builder. So let's start our code. So first of all, what? We need an input, correct? So we can say like a string input. For now, I'm going to take any value. You can take any input. Now what? We have to declare string builder. So I have given an object name as TB. You can give a string builder like lowercase. So you can see here I'm creating an object of a string builder. So that means we have to use a string builder. Object name equal to new class name. And here we need to pass our input in the constructor. If you are using Eclipse and if you press control and if you click here, you can see here a string builder dot class. It is already in built in the Java. The package is Java dot lang. That means language. So string builder having a inbuilt function that will automatically reverse the input value. So here in last program we use for loop to reverse the string. Correct. So here no need to do like that. One. So we can say like a string output equal to what? stb dot reverse and if you put semicolon on that time it will be red color that means it is a wrong so that means what currently what stb is a string builder that means we need to convert to the string so what you can do just use to a string correct now just use if condition if input dot equals output that means it is palindrome else what it is not palindrome so i'm just going to copy the same line here whatever we wrote in last program so you can see here right first time we'll get the output so what will get output just print output here run this program You can see here output what J H A A right our input is what A H H J so this input is just reversed why because we have used here this function reverse function so if you press control in the eclipse and after that if you click they have already super dot reverse you can check here right so they already created one predefined function that will be reversed. So I will not recommend any beginner to use this one. So try to use this kind of program using the for loop or while loop. So now if I change input as a radar, because we just saw it is a palindrome. So it has to get same output. You can see right, we are getting output as a radar. That is a palindrome. So this is a way to check whether a string is palindrome or not using the string builder.